Hi guys, if you have updated your iPhone to the latest iOS version, iOS 18, then these are four settings you might want to change in terms of customization. So first off, you can now rearrange all your apps and widgets on your home screen. To do this, simply long press on your home screen until the icons begin to wobble, and then you can now freely move the widgets and icons to wherever you want to place them. If you want to change the color, now you can actually customize um, the theme and the color of all the icons at once. Now you can actually customize the color of all the uh, iOS icons and widgets at a go. So just hit on the edit button at the top um, left corner of your screen and then click on customize. You would find four options arranged at the bottom of the screen. You have the light, which is the usual, you know, uh, theme option that we all enjoy. Then we have the dark mode. This actually adds a darker feel to all your um, widgets and icons. And then we also have the automatic. This will switch between the light and the dark based on your system default settings. And then we also have the tinted one, which a lot of people were calling for because now you can actually match the color of your icons to your background. So if you hit on that, you can now swipe on the slider to now change the color and then the lightness of the color that you want. Just a quick um, uh, tip as well. You can see uh, an icon which is in the form of a sun at the top left corner of the edit section, which actually allows you to either add a dark overlay to your background or just leave it light. This would give you a bit of depth and make some of the text and the widgets more visible just in case you know you actually add a tint to it. So this is the first editing option if you want to rearrange and edit your widgets. The next one is to edit your control center. The control center has a big redesign with a lot of um, features and new groups of controls that you can now access more fluidly from your control center. So if you swipe down from the top right corner, you can see that the widgets have changed immensely. And now you have three options. You can choose from your favorites and then there is an option for your music and also your connectivity settings. So you can now, just as doing on your home screen, just long press on your home screen and then add your desired widgets. Or you can also hit on the edit button to add more. If you want to add controls, you will see the plus sign at the bottom of the screen. And then you can go ahead and add more buttons or widgets to your control center. Another app, that has a, you know, a huge redesign is your photos application. So your entire library has now been organized for you, but a lot of people um, find this too abrupt. And so to edit how your gallery looks like, go to the home screen of your gallery and then scroll to the very last section. At the bottom, you would find customize and reorder. So now you can actually customize and reorder your gallery to how you please. Um, my setting now is I have the albums, I have my pin collection, I have the utilities, I have people, I have media types, I have recent days, I have memories, trips, featured photos, and then lastly, shared albums. So if you open your photos app right after, you know, um, up upgrading to iOS 18 and it looks totally weird to you, you can figure it out. Just go ahead and customize it and you'll be fine.